All right, so in today's video, I wanted to show you this really cool workflow process where I use Claude AI and uh, ChatGPT4 with plugins in order to create a very high quality SEO friendly uh, blog post, but more importantly, from a YouTube video. So any, if any of you are running your business like I am, where YouTube is always primary or first, right? So it's kind of like video first content, but you also want to repurpose your content. Um, you can see right over here, I'm going to show you how to do this, right? So here's my YouTube channel, Learn Wire. I just did this video yesterday um, on Trolley, and it's actually 45 minutes long, but we're going to use the power of ChatGBT to summarize this for us. Um, and I'm going to show you how we can turn that into a blog post that looks like this. It's going to look really, really nice, have a nice title. Um, it's going to embed the article right over here. Um, now, these two tools don't do that, but I use another tool. I can show you that um, in a minute. And then I have these links right over here, affiliate links. I have my disclaimer over here as an affiliate. So I'm following all the guidelines that we are supposed to, right? Um, hey, this is kind of funny, guys. If you guys know what this little thing down here is, in the bottom right hand corner, I dis I disabled um, voila, I thought it might have been voila, but it's not. And I don't know what this is if, if this is a Chrome extension or what extension this is, but it's annoying, I want to uninstall it. So it uh, looks like I'm gonna have to go and start uninstalling. Uh, because when these plugins do updates, right, um, you don't know when you have a million plugins, you don't know which one is that um, is doing this. And on different web pages, I actually have this right here. So it's kind of a funny and, an, and annoying at the same time. Um, if you guys know what that is, then obviously when I highlight text, I have this over here. So I have something on here. I don't, maybe, maybe this is, um, no, I haven't updated Zimwriter either. Um, it's definitely, um, showing up when I'm, when I highlight text. Anyways, let's get back to the tutorial. So we have, um, here's my trolley review and it's very like, I recently tested out a new AI writing, uh, and it's, it's fairly accurate, about 85% um, reading through this. I had to um, fix like a pricing or there was something down here. Let me see if I can show you that I um, had to correct something. I did add an image right there. I added another image down here to make it look nice, right? Put a little bit of effort into it. But there is somewhere in here where I did uh, make a correction. And I'm not sure where that was, but... Um, for the most part, it does take my summary and do a pretty good job writing um, the article factually. Um, pricing, you might want to always double check on pricing and so forth. Um, and then, but it does do a great job on the cons, right? So like, was um, was trolley lackluster in readability? Yeah, absolutely. While grammar is decent, sentences are long and rambling, readability scores are low. That is 100% factual and true, and it came from my summary. Um, so if you read all that, that's a really good review because it's actually being honest and has a lot of cons, and uh, every one of these cons are, are accurate based on my review. So um, really, really good. You're just going to get a lot higher quality. Um, I would probably recommend moving this key points up to the top, but other than that, really good. I need, and this is just a bare bones website. I don't know if any of you know, I have a learnwirepro.com. I tried to get learnwire.com, but of course someone, let's go to that, learnwire.com. Someone from the 19, early 1990s has this, I tried to reach out to them and I mean, they don't even have a secure website. The learnwire.com is forwarded to learn to wire.com. So it's obviously, um, electric, uh, electricity type thing. But I mean, look at this copyright 2000, 2009. So this person probably, um, registered the domain for, you know, decades. Who knows if they're even alive anymore, but, um, my shot at getting my domain is, is pretty much just gone. Right. So, um, so I just came up with LearnWire pro. If that's why, if you're wondering why I have LearnWire pro, well, that is why. All right. So, um, I, it's bare bones. I don't even have legal pages or anything on this. Um, it's just, I just set it up for fun months and months ago. Um, I don't even have legal pages or anything like that. No menu, nothing. So it's just for fun and testing purposes. But um, believe it or not, a lot of my articles are actually ranking when you come over here and you start looking. I don't even have a button to get to any of the other articles. So I definitely need to work on this site, but needless to say, so like for example, video enhancing automation review, uh, this one right here is definitely, um, we go over here and search Google. 
uh, my videos rank number one, and then uh, my articles ranked um, number one as well. So um, this definitely works, okay? But I didn't do this for this process. I think I might have used a Koala or something like that. Needless to say, let's jump right in, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and go for the keyword discovery. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. All right, well. I'm going to go ahead and grab this URL. I'm going to copy it. We're going to go over to, um, cause Claude can't like access the internet, right? So that's one of the downfalls and disadvantages. And that's one of the reasons why you can't just ditch a uh, chat GPT for Claude, even though Claude might do better with writing, um, definitely does better with writing a long article and so forth and following directions. But, um, this is what we're, I'm going to be showing you how to do. It did this whole thing for me. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, but, uh, I think the power really lies in using the power of both tools together. I really don't think Claude, um, kind of wins or, um, you know, disables the, the need to use chat GBT. Chat GBT is still amazing and it is amazing at a lot of the things it's still, uh, it's right now way far ahead with development and plugins and uh, so forth, accessing the internet using plugins and so forth, than Claude. Claude is just really good at following directions and writing quality content, right? So I think the power of using both is kind of where I'm at. And I think that that's the, where you're gonna get the most power out of uh, content creation. Um, you can see right over here, this is what we did. So I did a couple of different tests and um, I did these tests so you don't have to, but if you go to chat GPT four, now with this method, uh, I'm just gonna warn you right now, you have to have chat GPT pl uh, plus, you have to be paying $20 a month for the tool. Uh, I don't recommend even using uh, chat GPT. Everybody, most people do, probably 90% of people are just using 3.5, but you're just having to do so many workarounds where you may as well just pay the $20 so you can get access to the GPT four and you can go in here and use plugins right? There's like a plugin store with thousands of plugins. If you guys have any plugins you want me to uh, install, test out and review, let me know. At this point, I believe there's thousands in the store. Um, if I go to all, I mean, look at this. Um, so there's 119 pages and each page has two, four, six, eight. So let's do the math. So it's eight times 119. Um, there, okay. So there's about a thousand plugins in the store right now, but that's how you do it. You go and you grab one. Um, and I tried web pilots, one of my favorites, <clears throat> and this is one of the first ones that kind of came out on the platform. It accesses the, uh, web pages, PDFs, data, um, chats and writes, uh, one many or none URLs. So it can access URLs and give you data, right? Um, and you can tell it to write. Uh, an article based on this URL and WebPilot will do that. But um, when summarizing some of the things that I've wanted it to summarize, um, I found that um, this Vox script does better at, it just does better at accessing pages and um, see it does really good with um, YouTube transcripts. So it's specialized in YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it for YouTube, but then it also does web browsing, searching and more. I find it's faster and it just um, might be better than even WebPilot. And VoxScript has been around um, probably just as long as WebPilot. So these two are powerhouses, but I've found in my testing that VoxScript works better in this case. So we're gonna select that. We only have VoxScript selected, right? We're gonna go over and we're gonna go, at, we already copied this, I believe. We'll just go copy. We'll come back over to ChatGBT. And so, so simple as summarize this video. I mean, it can be as simple as that. Um, you don't have to give it this advanced prompt because we're going to wait and take the summary and use a, an advanced prompt when we're done with this step. So you're going to see Vox script. This is, these are long form videos. So it's going to only be able to do a section at a time. So then uh, Vox script loads again. It'll load again down here. It'll keep loading until it's done and it'll write a summary for us. While it's doing that, let's go open up my prompts. So I go over here to Google Docs. This is where I keep all my prompts. You'll be able to see over here, ChatGPT prompts for my business 2023. I do use this uh, daily. I have a nice key right here. I added this one yesterday. So we can go video, Learn Wire Pro website, video to blog post. I can just click right here and we can see that we have all these different prompts that I can use. This one is using it a different way. Um, using chat GPT to do this, but we're doing, I created a new way to do this. 
which is right here. So the software right review right here. So I actually need to uh, like highlight that. Um, I'm going to put that in green. That means that that needs changed. Whoops. I like to use the highlighter and highlight things that I do absolutely need to change. And then all everything under here, I'm going to change, right? So we have keyword discovery. So I'm going to type out the software reviewed was keyword discovery because I find that um, even though it does an amazing job with the summary, sometimes it doesn't even list what the, um, what the product was. And so we're going to say keyword discovery, and then we're going to come back over. I'm going to remove all of this right here. And I'm going to just remove that. Now you're going to see what I'm going to do in just a minute. We'll go back over to G chat GPT and here is our uh, summary. So you can see how many Vox scripts needed to be loaded. One, two, three, four, five. All we had to do was just give it a URL of the video. The video titled Keyword Discovery Review Unique ROI Calculator for Keyword Research is by LearnWire and was uploaded on this date. The video is approximately 21 minutes, blah, blah, blah. We don't really need that, um, but it's okay to keep that. It's just factual information. Summary, the video provides an in-depth review of keyword discovery, a keyword research tool, um, that recently launched on AppSumo. The tool offers a unique feature, um, an ROI, return on investment, blah, blah, blah. Um, key features right here, limitations, speed. The tool is currently slow in generating keyword difficulty scores. And this is a hundred percent correct, which is awesome, right? Um, which the reviewer uh, attributes to a possible influx of new customers from AppSumo. That is true. Um, and I believe that they have fixed it. I have gone back in and tested it, guys. Uh, you're welcome to go and check it out. Um, difficulty scores, unlike other keyword tools, keyword discovery, it doesn't provide keyword difficulty scores up front. You have to request them. So that is 100% factual. Final thoughts. Um, and I gave it a six or seven out of 10. That's 100% right. The, rec reviewer the reviewer recommends picking up keyword discovery, especially if you're looking for a tool with unique features that will likely improve over time. Um, all that is true. So we can come up here. I'm going to go ahead and just grab the whole thing. We're going to copy the summary. We're going to go into uh, Claude. Actually, no, we're going to go over into my prompt over here. So here are the key points. I'm going to right click and paste without formatting. So now we have the entire um, thing in here and we can look at my prompt in depth as well. And I'm going to copy this. We're going to go to Claude. We're going to paste this in right here. It has a massive amount of text right there. And I'm going to say start chat. Now watch what's happening. So here's a 1200 word SEO optimized blog post with the requested uh, sections and made a description. Um, the, now you can see it's writing, right? So this is just amazing. It's going to go and write this entire thing. That's kind of random that it put the meta description right there. Um, I can, you know, tell it in my prompt to make sure the meta description's at the bottom or something like that, right? But how keyword discovery works, keyword discovery uses a combination of search volume to begin keyword research, blah, 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 where the tool differs from ROI. Um, so it's writing us a nice blog post. And I said 1200 words that usually reaches that is what I find. Let's go back and see what this, um, prompt looks like real quick guys. So I'm going to zoom in for you. So I'm the owner and creator of a popular YouTube channel called LearnWire, where I do professional unbiased and in-depth software review and tutorials. Please use the factual summary of my latest video below and create a well SEO optimized and research blog post based on my actual review and the content of the video. The title should always be product name review. Uh, then you can add any catchy emotional addition to the title that is good. Please keep the title to 70 characters or less. Expand on each topic so we can meet the word count goal. Please include uh, these subheadings in markdown format, introduction, how the uh, name of product works, name of product, use, uh, uses, who is name of product for name. So I use all that. Um, and then very specific in my prompt, right? And then I say also FAQs include three to five most common FAQs. Uh, do I recommend the name of the product, right? And a brief conclusion wrapping up the review. Please write like humans do, like trying to infuse uh, their work with personal perspectives, emotions, and unique viewpoints, making their writing relatable and resonant. End with a key points bulleted list section. I find that the reason why I have the key points section 
um, at the end is because um, the way that AI works and the way that it's writing this, I think it's going to be able to do a key points section better, but when it's done writing its whole review, I'm sure you probably would agree with that. And we can easily move that up when we publish the article. Um, you, in my opinion, you kind of don't want to really start off with the key points. A key points is something that you do at the end of writing anyways. So that's kind of why I have it uh, listed like that. And then I say also include a 140 character SEO optimized meta description that must include name of product, um, near the beginning and be catchy. So I actually, it might've got confused with that. So I might need to rework that. And that's why the meta description ended up at the beginning. So I'm going to reword that and you're always constantly improving your prompts, right? And then we say, here's the video summary. The video is detailed review of AI writing tool. Um, let's see right over here. So this right here, I actually, here's the video summary. So this actually, I need to re just remove that. Um, here's the video summary. The software review is called BOP, and then we put everything in. So this is all the summary that came from ChatGPT. Let's go back to Claude and see what we've got. So that's a massive prompt, right? I put a lot of time into creating the prompt right there. Let's go see what Claude got for us. So we're going to go and grab all this down here and just see how long this is. I'm going to right click and use my word counter plus and it hit 1037 words. Yesterday's post was 1270 words. The fact that it's hitting over a thousand words period is way better than chat GPT. And that's why I, I like doing this step right here. So it, I, I, I accept that that's done. It does a really good job. We could also say, Hey, write a couple more paragraphs. We could easily get that if we wanted to, but straight out of the gates over a thousand words. That is awesome. So you can come up here. I mean, we've got our FAQs right over here. Um, we have the tool was also um, available on AppSumo for a hugely discounted lifetime deal starts at $49, blah, blah, blah. Um, the pricing right over here, I would need to look at and see on their site. If that's accurate, I always say, if you're going to do this method, always go and double check pricing on the website. And, uh, because it's, it gets a little tricky because I'm providing a review of an AppSumo lifetime deal. That's not going to be a long around for that long. And then later on, um, you know, if someone lands on my website to read the article, they're going to need to know what the everyday pricing is as well. And so that's why it's kind of like a combination price, um, where I kind of, and that's another reason why I kind of try to show you what the, the pricing on their website is as well, if that makes sense because uh, there's a couple different types of pricing going on. So who is this keyword discovery for? Aims to serve SEO professionals. So, I mean, it does a really good job, right? Um, so this is really, really cool. And then what you can do is when you're done with that, right? How do we get this onto our website? We'll go to LearnWire Pro and log in. And then I go and I use YT Evolution just to get the ball rolling. But, um, you know, I've graduated from just using YT Evolution and the, you know, the, the content that it would provide. But I do like the way that we can come in. Hmm. I don't know where or why it doesn't have the keyword discovery. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here's keyword discovery. And all you would do is just push the publish button. And then once it's done publishing, you just push edit. So you don't have to have this. Uh, there's a lot of ways. This just saves time because it all, pulls in the video for me. It pulls in the title and then it pulls in my links right over here. And then what I usually do is just kind of start deleting a little bit of this stuff right over here. I'll delete this and then I'll move this up. And this is why I have in my YouTube descriptions disclaimer, this video or article is not sponsored. So it just protects me, right? And I'm just done. Um, straight up, that part of the job is done. Um, what I'll next do is go to keyword discovery right over here and I'll just grab that keyword. I'll either correct it over here on URL or I'll go and I'll change it on the slug right there and I'll push update. I'll go back over here and I'll grab my meta description that I saw right over here. And we'll go back over here and we'll put that meta description in right there as well. It's a little long, not too bad though. And I'll update that as well. So now you can see that the URL is fixed. We're looking good. I'll go and categorize it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and add a new keyword tool, SEO tools. And that way that they all can kind of fit in that category. So SEO tools, we already have the featured image is just done, right? So that's why I like using the um, YT evolution. I'm not sure if that's a plugins even for sale anymore. Um, I don't know what's going to happen when it's uh, completely like, um, I don't think he's supporting the tool anymore. So I'll use it as long as I can. I usually don't set this, but I'll go ahead. It's a tutorial. I may as well set this, um, the focus keyword. Okay. And then what I will do is 
I'll usually keep this uh, title the same as the YouTube video, but then I what I'll do is I'll come over here to Claude and see what it came up with. Keyword discovery review, unique ROA. Um, I'll just basically say something like this. I'll put heading and I'll say my keyword discovery review. It's an H2. I'll push return. I'll go back to Claude. And of course, next step, guys, you can copy and paste this in. You can read it. I did glance over it. It is pretty good. Um, pricing needs to check. You can also take this and pull it into Neuron Writer and do your Neuron Writer stuff. Add in that uh, secret FAQ um, using an LSI keywords, right? So then you're really going to be able to pump out um, the SEO quality of this. Um, but you can also just come over here and just um, kind of just go with it, right? And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Um, and I'm not going to go with over optimization, right? I'm just going to paste this in right here. But I, what I do want to do is grab this uh, key points here. I'm going to close that out right there. And I am going to, like right over here, I see conclusion keyword discovery. So I would want to return right here and then make sure that this is in H2 as well. So you're going to want to spend some time um, just making sure that everything is um, structured right. We do have uh, plenty of H2s. Um, sometimes it's going to mess uh, one up, right? I recommend adding a couple images if you can. And then just like that, it's done. I'm going to go up here, my keyword discovery review. So I'm actually going to come over here and just place the key points right over here. And then boom, it's ready to go. So we have an update right over here. And then of course, what I'll do is I will go and submit this to Google Search Console to get it indexed and so forth. So that is my process. Uh, we can go and check out the website now. Go view the, view the post. We have the embedded uh, video. We have our, um, and um, what I'll do is I'll add some buttons. I'll add a couple more buttons, but um, this is a really nice um, article right here that is following factual data because it's going based off of my YouTube transcript. Um, there are, nobody else has really reviewed this tool. And this is why you might ask, why do I need uh, like a process like this, right? Like this take, this kind of took a long time, right? Well, really this, uh, I was explaining it the entire time. I could actually do this in five minutes. Uh, so it doesn't take that long. Um, but why I'm choosing to do this is because, um, oftentimes I'm reviewing software on AppSumo that nobody else has even uh, heard of. No one else has even done a review on, right? And so getting that information. And then also I want my blog, I want LearnWire to be an actual website where, it's my opinion and it's my review that I did. And this is my, this text is my content, right? And so this gives me that you very unique, um, flavor and unique spin on, on the content where it's coming from a, it's actually coming from me, um, from an eat standpoint as well. I'm actually right here. This is my brand. Um, and if Google ever did want to, you know, come and do a manual review, they'd be like, Oh yeah, this is the same guy. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, so that's kind of why. So I think that if you're the, I would use this steps, especially if you're running your own brand, right? So, um, this was the power of using chat GPT to go out and get the summary of your YouTube video, then using Claude and my unique, um, prompt, the prompt is, doesn't show right here. I guess we'd have to click on this and then the, this opens it up. And then you'll be able to see that this is the prompt that I used right here. And then here's the video summary. And then it created from that, it created this entire blog post, which is super cool. And then we went and published this on my site. And you can see right over here, we have keyword discovery right here. Hmm, not really sure why it didn't show up on the left side. It should have showed up right over here, but it's right there. Um, so it looks really good, really clean using these unique prompts. So hopefully this, uh, you got some value from this. Um, I like this because you're using the tools that are really, really popular, using the tools that everybody knows. Everyone, uh, Claude is really, really popular right now, but I believe that it's more powerful uh, when you use it in com combination with ChatGPT. So hopefully you guys got value. Make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video.